Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It is Monday, May 20th. It is Victoria Day here in Canada. It's a holiday and I did not actually plan to go live today. Um, however, uh, my family and I went to the mountains yesterday. Well, I should explain. My husband and my son and I, our daughter didn't go. Uh, we went to the mountains yesterday. And we had a lovely day. Amanda decided to stay home because it was calling for rain and, you know, on and off. And <clears throat> excuse me, the reason we went is because our son, Andrew, um, had a market out in Banff at the Rosen Crown. So our son, Andrew, is a uh, rec therapy assistant and she, he does this thing on the side where he sells vintage clothing. So they had a market out there and he was gonna drive out by himself and do his market, so take his clothing racks and take, take everything in his little small car. And I said to my husband, I'm like, oh, let's just take Andrew, let's just drive him and we can help put all of his stuff in our bigger vehicle. It'll be, a, we can spend the afternoon, like it was from two to 9 p.m. So we got up, we decided <laughs> last minute we were gonna do this and Andrew was thrilled that we were gonna drive him. And then we had the day to ourselves. So we went to um, Lake Minnewanka. We did um, over 11,000 steps. We had a just, and we didn't even walk that that hard. We were just like walking and walking. It was just such a beautiful day. Um, we didn't get any rain out there, even though it was in the forecast. My daughter sent pictures to us from home. She's like, you picked a good day to go to Banff, mom. <laughs> it was like, uh, she was sending us pictures of our cul-de-sac and there was like rain and hail and everything. So we, we kind of drove away from it, I guess. So we had a lovely day out there. So I feel like my bucket is filled. There is something magical that happens when you get out in nature. I remember sitting on the on one of the park benches and just with my husband and just listening. It was so quiet, but you could hear the, all the little birds chirping. There was like birds that would go over us. I don't know if they were eagles or what they were, but you could actually hear their winds, uh, their, their wings flapping like the wind. Like that was just like, I said to Kev, I was like, you know, when you go to a spa, this is the kind of sounds that they like to play so that they mimic this nature, right? It was just like, it was so rejuvenating to get out there. And I'm like, why don't we come out here more often? So we live at the base, kind of at the base of the Rocky Mountains. We're only about an hour away from Banff. So I'm like, why don't we do this more often? He agreed. So it was a great day and now I'm back and it is raining here. It's stopped right now, but it's wet. So I thought, I'm just gonna go live. I'm gonna do my normal routine, and I love routine. And you guys tell me that a lot of you say that I'm a part of your routine, and I appreciate that so, so much that you join me here every day. So I thought, I'm gonna go live today. I had my card ready to go, and I'm like, okay, I'm going down. And my family's sleeping, they're all sleeping, but <laughs> I'm here where I love to be. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for letting me share my story about yesterday. It was a grand, grand day. We had a nothing major, like sometimes it's the last minute things that you decide to do. It's those, you know, things that don't take tons of planning, you just do it, that give you the best results. And, you know, I also saw a fellow demonstrator out there. I saw Lindsay Mahan and her family. She's a demonstrator from Edmonton. They were out there hiking with their two puppies, and it was so beautiful. Anyway, okay, let's move on to today. I'm going to put my mug down so I don't spill. <laughs> um, Global Design Project Challenge, hashtag GDP446. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Global Design Project as a team um, has decided that they are going to move away from the blog part of it. But there's still going to be a challenge. I'm still going to be part of it every single week. Um, and you can be a part of it easily as well. So before, it used to be a blog challenge where you'd have to go to the blog. And if you wanted to participate, you had to upload your uh, card onto the blog, right? You don't need to do with that. Um, you you don't need to do that anymore. You can now participate. Um, and you could do this before, but we're going to strictly do... Um, uh, hashtag and you can do hashtag GDP 446 if you have an Instagram account you can use that to tag uh, your post and as well you can also tag the global design project team on uh, Instagram with at global underscore design underscore project so I hope we see more people participate in the challenges it's always fun to see your projects and uh, this week 
it's a sketch challenge, okay? So, <laughs> thanks, Carolyn. Happy Victoria Day to you. It is Victoria Day here in Canada. It is queen, our queen. We always celebrate the queen's birthday, Victoria Day, uh, May 24th, but this is the weekend that we celebrate. So, if you have a holiday today, I hope you get a chance to do something fun and relaxing. Maybe pull out your Stampin' Up! stuff and make a card or a scrapbook page or something like that. Hi, Marie. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I'm going to flip the challenge. Flip the challenge. No, I'm not flipping the challenge. <laughs> I'm going to flip the ca camera so that we can get started on my fun card share. This week, I have a new product and it's sweet. The entire suite I'm featuring. It is available, you guys. It's a brand new product suite. It's called Lily Palm Lane. Oh my goodness. It is so adorable. The paper is adorable. The dots are beautiful. The stamp set and the bundle is amazing. You're going to want to have this one. So I can't wait to share all these cards with you this week. And I have a new shopping code from May 20th to the 26th. So you can go ahead and use that code. When I flip the camera, you'll see it and you can uh, play along with me and you'll get these card kits in the mail. I love sending these card kits to you. And uh, uh, I have some card kits to send out this week as well, as well as some emails to send to you to those who have purchased from me and used my host code because I thank you all so much. Um, I wouldn't be able to do what I do here every day. I wouldn't be able to join you here. Um, you guys make it possible for me to do what I do. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, let's do it. Let's flip the camera and get started. Here we go. Okay. Whoop. There's my backyard. We do have a bit of overcast there. It was raining earlier, but let me flip my camera. Can you see the paper? Yes, we're gonna play with that amazing paper. It's called Lily Pond Lane, the entire suite, but let me bring in the catalog and show you. Hi, Donna, good morning to you. Okay, so here we go. May 20th, 20th to the 26th, there is my shopping code for this week. If you would like to place a minimum $60 order before shipping and tax in Canada, we can only do business with people in our own country. That is a Stampin' Up! rule. Um, I would appreciate you choosing me as your demonstrator this week and you placing your order with me. Um, I get lots of questions from demonstrators saying, well, I'm already a demonstrator. Can I still order from you? And the answer is absolutely yes. All people can, can shop with me, whether you're a demonstrator um, or not, you can still shop. You just have to use that host code. That's it. And if you're a demonstrator and you're logging into your demonstrator website, because we only have one login, right? One email. Um, you just go over to the right hand side where it says, hello, your name and drop down, click to the customer view. That's how you do it. And then when you put that code in at the shopping cart, the little shopping cart icon, that will, will get you these card kits from me. That is how I I'm able to provide these card kits to you. Okay, let's talk about this bundle. Okay, so we are on, let me bring in the catalog. It's on page 44 and 45. It's called Lily Pond Lane. Um, the suite collection is 163354 if you want to jot that down. Such an amazing suite. You might as well get the entire suite because you're going to want all of it. <laughs> um, the Charming Duck Pond the Char Charming Duck Pond P Bundle, that's a, a mouthful, is here. Let me show you the bundle first. So this is the bundle. I haven't even had a chance to put these on magnetic sheets yet. I'm actually waiting for an Amazon order. Um, I ordered some more magnetic sheets from Amazon. I'll let you know about those once I get them. I have, I'm just trying these new ones out to see what the quality is. Okay, so Charming Duck Pond, here is the stamp set. It's photopolymer, I love it. There's two-step stamping going on. We're gonna play with that today. As well, we've got the matching, are they called Charming Duck Pond? Yes, Charming Duck Pond dies. Look at these. And this is a set of 15 dies. Amazing, amazing dies. So that's a part of the suite. We're going to play with that. Also, we have, let me show you the dots and then I'll move them out of the way and I'll show you the paper. These dots, Joanne says she loves the set. Yes, I do too, Joanne. It is so beautiful. So I love the colors that they've chose for the paper. Wait till I show you the paper. Okay, here are the dots. Wow, wow, wow. Look at these. I have to hold them close to the camera so you can see the full effect of these. Um, they are called adhesive back dapple dots. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. So we have our peach pie, our brand new peach pie coming through here. We have smoky slate and we have pretty in pink. So we got two out of the three in colors. 
right? In colors, I have to mention those again, because don't forget, if you're thinking about the starter kit, guys, you're going to get all of the ink pads in their starter kit. You're going to get the paper, the cardstock, the markers. So don't forget, we still have, what, 11 days left in that starter kit promotion, and it is the best deal, right? For $135, you get to choose $165. You could put this suite in your collection. It's only $92.75, but then you get to choose up to $165. So you can add another suite, another bundle, right? Um, and then you're going to get all that in-color stuff for free. Now, I've just got a little sample of the paper here, one of each pattern, but I want to show you what they look like. So here we've got a pattern with the ducks. Now let me see. I got to grab my dies and put them aside. I haven't had a chance to even check this, but let's check, grab this die here and see. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh no, it's not quite. Not quite. I was getting excited there. I thought this die was going to be the exact same size, but it's not quite. Okay, but there is another one. Oh my goodness. Look, there's another one. Let's see if this one works. Yeah, okay. There we go. This one Nope, not quite. Maybe it's here. There we go. There we go. Just a little bit of patience. <laughs> okay, so that die cuts out that duck right there. Um, oh, and this one down here. Ah, see? <laughs> there we go. So the, yes, we got two dies here cutting out those two um, little ones here. Now we've got some little dies here too. Let's see. What about this little ducky? This, this little ducky here. Mm. Oh, baby, this one. Sorry, guys, I haven't had a chance to do this, but yes, indeed, look at that. So we've got a couple of little duckies, three little duckies on this um, paper here that cut out. All right, let's go ahead and keep on going here. Um, What else? Oh, let's see about this one. This one here is the one with the little... Um, sprigs it's not they're not called sprigs they're called yes oh my goodness four dies on this one sheet you guys so these are my grandfather <laughs> in Halifax when I was growing up I'd spend all my summers with my grandparents and in Halifax um, I noticed on down the side of the road they had these growing they, they grow down in the little ditches I guess where the all the water pools they um my my grandfather told me they were called bulrushes and he would actually cut these for me, go down and pull over the car and go cut me some. But they're brown in Halifax. Now, I don't know, maybe in different places of the world, they're different or maybe they just made them this color for this uh, particular bundle. But there we go. So we've got a lot of different dyes on this one sheet. The flip side has our beautiful pretty and pink pattern. All right, so here we've got some more of those bulrushes like this with the beautiful colors. The flip side has, thank you, Barbara. Thank you for your comment. This is our um, gray granite. We're playing with gray granite today for this color here. And oh, we got two of those here, okay? And then this one here, check it out. It's a nice, beautiful scenery. Love it with the ducks swimming in the pond. And the flip side of that one has our new peach pie pattern. Beautiful. Then we've got these beautiful, I'm not sure what they're called. Maybe they're well, Lily Pond, and it's obviously lilies. Wow, Rose, <laughs> it's Monday. Oh my gosh, not enough coffee. Okay, beautiful, beautiful florals. And the flip side of that one has these. They're actually little tiny dragonflies. I don't know if this camera can zoom in, in closer, but you can see they're little flying dragonflies. Love that. There we go. We've got again some more of the lilies. We've got a frog and what is that? A koi fish. <laughs> Gorgeous colors. Now, can you see our colors coming through? We've got granny apple green. We've got pretty peacock. They're called cattails and they're brown, Leanne says. Okay, there you go. Yeah, they're brown in Nova Scotia too. I think they're probably always brown, aren't they? I don't know. I'm not sure about cattails. <laughs> Um, okay, so Dorothy says, I was making my order to put in for free shipping tomorrow and couldn't make up my mind. Oh, yes, that's the other reason I wanted to go live today, guys. Tomorrow is free shipping. Tuesday is free shipping. So it starts midnight tonight. Free shipping on order, all orders over $100. So you're going to be able to add this one. So it's this one's $92.75. So, you know, go ahead and add some adhesive, add some cardstock. Um, and get your order to 100 and you'll save all that shipping. 
Look at these little duckies that are swimming. So, so beautiful. Now, all of the, I'm just going back to my dies here. Bear with me. I just wanted to show you, I think all of the duckies here, They that one has feet. This one has feet. Um, these ones have feet. So these won't cut out this, but that's okay, right? You, you know, we need pattern paper that is just exactly what it is. Pattern paper. Beautiful. Um, yay for free shipping, Diane. Yes, absolutely. Check out this one here. This color is a lighter shade of the pretty peacock. We're going to use this one today. Look at this. This reminds me of home. This totally reminds me of going like trouting with my dad on the side of the pond. We'd stand and cast our, our line. <laughs> so there's a beautiful scenery. The flip side has, check it out, the little koi fish. Love it. We call them bulrush or cattails in Ontario. Oh, wow. So my grandfather, he was an RCMP officer that got transferred to Halifax. This is a little history. And so he is actually from, um, I think it's just outside Barrie, Ontario, or Barrie, around that area. And uh, yeah, that's probably why he told me they were called bulrushes, because that's where he's from. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this one. This kind of reminds me, look at the greenery floating down like that. Just really instantly thought made me think about Mexico and those um, beautiful areas that we were like swimming and stuff like that with the greenery all around. Wow, this little family of ducks. And then the flip side of that one. Hi, Angela. Hi, Vonda. Good morning. We've got our pretty and pink in the background there with beautiful florals. We've got another pattern here with pretty peacock and the lilies. And then on the flip side, we've got lily pads. And that's balmy blue in the background. So a lot of pretty colors. Now, did I show this one? I'm not sure if I did. No, nope. this is another one with the koi fish and some more of the pretty um, peach pie, peach pie. Now this one here um, is a different one. I don't think this is the same as the first one. So the first one I showed you had these duckies. Yeah, it's different. Look, they're doing different things, doing different things. And I bet there's a die that will cut out. Let's see this one. Yep. Yeah, that there's a die that will cut out that duck up there. And does the, uh, sprig, let's see that one. There's one, two, <laughs> and another one, three. Oh gosh, I love this. I love, love, love that all these dyes work. Now, what did I do with my one with the bulrushes? It's here. Oh, right here. Let's see if that one fits on here. Yeah, yep, yep, it does. Look at that. Wow. So another one, another piece of paper. So both of these pieces of paper are different. And ah, uh, thank you so much for your kind words, Jenny. Um, they're different, but they each have four dies that will cut out the images. I love it. Love, love, love it. All right. So moving on to, um, let's see, did we, did we finish? Oh, I didn't show you this one. This one's another nice, beautiful scenery one. Look, you've got the banks up here in the water. How can you cut this? Oh my goodness. But the good news is you're going to get four of each. So don't worry. You'll get lots. Buy two packs and then you'll be covered for a long time. <laughs> love this gingham plaid. Uh, pattern with the pretty and pink. And there's that again, the gray granite. So we've got, as always with any bundle, um, we, we get one side of the designer series paper that is, you know, purely, I'm just going to lay these out and show you purely like what the theme is, right? So let's lay them out like this. The theme of this one, of course, is Lily Pond Lane. So we've got lots of lily ponds and, and ducks and stuff like that. So on one side of the paper with Stampin' Up, okay, this is the same. You've got, let me flip it over. We've got obviously all the ducks and all the images. When you flip them over, you get a nice generic um, background that can be used for almost any project, right? Scrapbooking, card making, you name it. If you're like, I'm not into ducks, well, look at this. There's no ducks to be seen on this this side of the paper, but you may love the pinks and the and the the grays and the and the new uh, peach pie, right? So this paper, I think, will be appealing to everyone. All right, so thank you for allowing me the time to go through the paper and show you all the features because I really feel strongly about showing you, like, you know, the good things about it, right? 
well, are there any bad things? <laughs> There's no such thing as bad things. Okay, we're going to pull in this gorgeous piece for my card today. And we're going to play along with the sketch. All right, so we're just going to move my dies and my stamps and get organized here. So here's the sketch. Let me pop this in. Hi, Sandra. Good morning. Good morning. Um, this is the Global Design Project Sketch Challenge for this week. So it's a sketch. I love sketches. I do these every month with my team at our team meeting because it's, you never, oh, Sandra, you just made my day. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the truth here. When you guys join me, you make my day, which is why I wanted to, even though it's a holiday, I'm like, no, I have to go live. It really, really lifts my mood as well to be able to start my day with a card or a scrapbook page. I actually haven't done a scrapbook page with you in a very long time, so maybe I should do that soon. <laughs> um, so you guys make my day. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this sketch. And when I first looked at it, I'm like, okay, what jumps out at me? The three strips. I'm like, okay, that's a lot. That's, that's, a lot of possibility right there. It could be three strips. It could also be six strips, you guys, because there's a middle piece, right? So I'm going to take this designer series paper and we're going to do exactly that. We're going to cut it into strips and we're going to start off there. So what I want to do is I'm going to make my, my strips, um, the length of my typical card front, maybe a little smaller. Maybe I'll cut them to be five inches. So let me grab my trimmer, my paper trimmer, and we're gonna cut the paper first. Let's do that. Okay, so let's see. I want them to be five inches. So I'm gonna take the paper, pop it in here, and I'm gonna just cut off the blue sky. And that way I'm holding on to the actual uh, scene by only cutting off, by cutting off the, the sky. And I know I can use this piece on another card. Well, if I cut it properly, let's try that again. <laughs> I can use this as sky on another card, right? And look at the beautiful little koi fish on the back, right? So there we go. We've got that. Now you've got six inches here, right? So the other thing I'm thinking about is, well, if I do three one inch strips, then I'm going to be able to make two cards out of this one piece of designer series paper, right? So Let's do that. We'll just make it simple. We'll just cut three strips. One. And two. And three. Oh, yeah, okay. So there's three. Now I've still got three left, so I can hold on to this piece and make another card. All right, so there's my uh, strips. Now, what else do I have here? I thought, I was thinking about these and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna loosely put them back together in the order that they were on the paper. Okay, so I'm, I'm maintaining, huh, try again. I'm maintaining that uh, scenery. See how I'm lining up the bushes in the back? So that's what I wanna do. I'm just gonna move that off to the side and bring in my card base. So for my card base, I chose, I chose Balmy Blue, which coordinates with the color scheme. You could choose uh, pretty Peacock, you could ch even choose Peach Pie or Granny Apple Green if you wanted to. But I chose uh, Balmy Blue, so eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. We're gonna just burnish the score line. And then we're gonna quite simply flip these all over, add my glue. I mean, you could do a koi fish card and put three strips of koi fish, right? There's so many options. All right, it's been a weekend. <laughs> Let's see what my glue wants to do today. It's Monday. Sometimes my glue takes a, whoa, no, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Sometimes it's like, no, I'm still on holidays, Rose. No, I don't wanna work. But today, it's working. So we're gonna go with it, yay. <laughs> okay, so let's get though that pattern back up and in order. Yes, okay. So we're gonna put these Make sure my card's going the right orientation because it's happened before where I've done a card backwards and then I go to open it and it doesn't open properly. Anybody else relate? <laughs> okay, so this one's my middle, but I don't like to put the middle down uh, at right away. I like to take the third one and put that down first. I'm coming in over here on the end. Whenever I have three of something or even five, I like to do the ends and then... I can size up where to put my middle one. I can even up the space in between. Because sure shot, if I started here and did the next one, did the next one, 
there's a few things that can happen with that. I end up with um, too little of a space between and then a big space on the edge. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> this is why I mention it because um, that's my strategy. Whenever I have three of something or five or an odd number, I'll go one, then go to the end, then the next two, and then the middle one, you can size up um, how much room you have left. So there's the basic structure. And I mean, how easy is that, right? All right. So now we're going to do some stamping. So I'm going to work on the banner. This, this little piece that's going across the middle, that can be anything. That could be another piece of designer series paper, it could be a piece of foil, you could put a ribbon, you could put a greeting. I'm gonna do just that, I'm gonna do a greeting. So from the stamp set, let's grab my stamps here. I'm gonna use, I want a long greeting, right? Because that's the nature of the sketch. How about you make me happy? Of course, right? You guys make me happy, so I thought, oh, this is perfect, okay. You make me happy. Let's grab that one. Let's get that on a block. And we're going to do, um, I, you know, there's a lot of different colors you could bring in. I like to, look, sorry, I want to share with you what I'm doing. I'm putting the stamp down on my glass mat and taking my block and I'm just going to pick it up. That allows me to get that onto the block without changing the, the structure of the stamp. Sometimes when you pick up a long flimsy stamp and you go to put it on your block, it might actually shift and it might, you might get a, it might not be straight anymore. So just lay it down, let it be naturally its shape and then pick it up with the block. Okay. So I, I decided to go with pretty peacock for my layer. And what I'm going to do is do some white heat embossing. Love, love, love my white heat embossing. I love all heat embossing. What that made me fall in love with Stampin' Up! is the actual metallic um, embossing, but we're going to do white today. So this is white embossing powder, and we've got a, I've got my embossing kit. If you don't have one of these kits, you guys, oh my goodness, you need this in your life. When you order the embossing essentials kit, you're going to get this tray. You get an embossing buddy, which is a, a little pillow with a bit of, bit of a powder inside that helps dissipate any static or any dust or any particles on your cardstock that will interfere with your embossing experience. You also get a brush to be able to funnel the excess um, powder back into your canister. So a, a canister of embossing powder will last you a very long time. And you get these reverse tweezers, which I use for a lot of things, not just embossing. This will save your, your fingers because you won't be holding the cardstock real close to your fingers and you can, you won't risk burning your fingers. I also use this when I'm making bows. You've seen me use this to hold on to the knot. You know, sometimes when you're making bows, it's really hard to maneuver. This will help you. So all of these things come in one handy dandy embossing kit. All right, so you can find that on the website. Use the search bar at the top of your of the website when you're going on there. It's really, really handy. They have done massive improvements on the website to be able to allow us to find things in that search bar um, very, very easily. I'm so impressed. Okay, what else do we need? We need Versamark. Versamark is a watermark stamp pad. It can give you a tone-on-tone -tone look. So when I stamp on this um, Pretty Peacock piece, you're going to be able to see like a darker shade of Pretty Peacock. That's the tone-on-tone -tone watermark look. If you want to leave it like that, perfect. If that's, that's the look you're going for. But it is also a sticky ink. And the reason it's a, I call it a sticky ink is because you need it to be sticky in order for your embossing powder to stick to your cardstock long enough for you to turn on your heat gun and point it at, the, at your project and be able to heat up the, par, the particles. So I'm just going to stamp my You Make Me Happy right here. And let me hold it closer so you see. That's the tone on tone. Do you see how you could just leave it like that and now you've got like a darker shade of, of Pretty Peacock? That's the mar watermark. Now it's still sticky, but you know, you don't want to wait forever, but you want to do it as promptly as you can. We're going to lay that over the tray. We're going to hold on to it and we're just going to pour a little bit of pot powder. You could pour the whole canister. It's totally up to you. But what we do is we take it, tap it off, tap the excess off into the tray. Now we've got our embossing powder on the cardstock and it looks like sand almost. And if I were to touch this or brush against it, it would fly off, right? It's just sitting on that Versamark for now. 
So I'm just gonna lay this off to the side. I always wanna deal with my excess powder because we're gonna turn on the heat gun and the heat gun is like, you know, a super deluxe blow dryer that gets super, you would never wanna blow dry your hair with a heat gun. <laughs> oh, that would be a funny sight. <laughs> no, it would be tragic actually. But the heat gun is a gun, not a gun, but it's a like a, uh, I'll show you. It's a heat tool. It's not called a gun. I don't know why I called it a gun. Is that a slang for the heat tool, heat gun? I don't know. Anyway, Stampin' Up! calls it a heat tool. That's the proper term. When we turn that on, it's going to have uh, a lot of heat, and it's going to have wind. It's going to blow wind at your project. So we want to get all of that excess powder out of the way because otherwise you're going to have powder flying all over your desk and you do, trust me you don't want that okay so we've got our project here and we're going to bring in the heat tool let me lower down a little tiny bit so you can see okay so here's my heat tool i'm going to turn it on okay so i'm sorry it's loud but it's just the way it goes so we have to turn it on and it's going to heat up the powder okay and there we go, we're turning it on. It'll take a few minutes, a few seconds for it to get hot enough, but I'm gonna hold it close so you can see, hopefully see the transition of that powder going to, oh, there it goes. See, it, it's going to turn into like a liquid and it will solidify, will liquefy, and then it will dry. Can you see that happening? I don't know if you can or not, I'm trying. And just continue on. There. You can also do it from the back. You can heat emboss from the back. It is amazing, Sherry. I agree. All right, we've got it. Okay, there. Let me turn off my gun. Okay, so you can, with your naked eye, of course, you can see real, I don't know if the camera is even focusing, but now that it's heat, I, heat embossed, I can run my finger over it. There is no particles leaving because they have been heated up, melted, basically, to make this beautiful embossed greeting. Now, when we got married, my husband and I, we, you know, I didn't know about Stampin' Up!, right? And uh, I, we ordered our wedding invitations and you pay for embossing. And I remember, well, you pay for your, all your invitations, but I remember getting my cards and being so amazed with the embossed part. You just want to run your fingers over it because you can feel, you can actually feel the words, right? So that's embossing. Thank you for letting me share all the little tips with you with that. Um, it is fun. It is fun. And the metallics are even more dramatic. So we're going to take this greeting and I'm going to bring in, um, sorry, I'm reorganizing my, my dies and I was like, oh my gosh, where is this one? This is Stylish Shapes. So we're going to open this up. We're going to grab this big banner right here. And that's what I'm going to use to cut out my greeting today. So I'm going to put this on here, and as you can see, it kind of wants to tilt a little bit, but no worries. We have little tricks that we can use, we can do to hold it in place. So you make me happy. We're going to put this on here. I'm going to hold this side down with a post-it, and we're going to put another one over here. Because you go through the, the work of doing it, and then you don't want it to shift on the machine and be crooked, right? That's not fun. Okay, so... Let's bring in my machine, but while I'm at it, I always like to do things in bulk. So let's set that off to the side. I want to bring in these amazing dies, the Lily Pond dies. And I think I said that wrong. Let me just double check. Are they called Lily Pond? Charming Duck. That's going to get me. By, by Friday, I'll have it right. It's called Charming Duck. <laughs> so the dies are also called Charming Duck. All right, so we're gonna bring in these dies. It's a set of 15 amazing dies, and we're gonna do something. We're gonna do some die cutting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this duck right here, and we're gonna cut that with gray granite, okay? So we're just gonna grab a little bit of gray granite or smoky slate. I mean, either one would work. Um, we're gonna cut that ducky out, and we're also gonna cut out this one right here that has two little ducks. Can you see that? 
two little ducks and I've got a little piece of cardstock stuck in there. So I'm going to take that out. So two little ducks in the gray, and then we're going to bring in some peach pie scrap and we're going to cut out some other parts here. Let's see. What do we need in peach pie? Okay. This die right here, this is a wing and a, no a nose, nose, beak. <laughs> okay, Rose. It's a beak, not a nose. Ducks don't have noses, they have beaks. Oh my goodness, I can hear you guys laughing at me. <laughs> okay, so we need we need that. And I think that's it for the dies right now. We're gonna do these. All right, so let's go. Look at this one, guys. Oh, I can't wait to use this one, this big one. This is stunning. This is probably gonna, that's probably gonna be my favorite die out of this whole entire set. Okay, let's see. We're gonna run this through the machine with the greeting. It's all about, you know, getting organized and getting everything onto your platform together. And I'm going to hold this down, hold them together and down with my post-it note. And same thing for this one. Okay. So do I have everything? It seems like I'm, I need one more thing. I don't know, but I think that's it. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab my dies, grab my machine, and we'll run all of this through. Okay. Maggie says, embossing is one of my favorite things to do. You know what? Mine as well. That's what sold me. That sold me on everything, I think. <laughs> stamped in the upside down. Michelle says, I have stamped the, uh, the inside upside down, so I hope your day is right side up. Oh, that's a great way to fix it. What a, And that will give someone a good laugh too, right? It's always good to send something that would make someone laugh. I love to laugh. <laughs> so send those. If you make a mistake, own it. Send the card. The person will laugh at you and they'll they'll be like, wow, she she sent the card. <laughs> so just send it. There's no mistakes, right? Okay, so we're putting these onto the platform and we're gonna roll it all through. Rolling, rolling. All right, so let's take a look. Let's do our quick swipe onto my desk. And let's bring in my silicone mat, my silicone mat, and we're going to take all this apart and put it on the silicone mat so that we don't hopefully lose anything. Okay, so we've got our mama duck. Here's the mama duck and our die with the little ducks. We've got one little duck. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, no, it's okay. All right, so we did, we did need that one, but we need this one again. Okay, I remember now when I designed the card what I had to do. Okay, it's okay. You had to do this one twice. So we need a little peach pie wing for the duck up there, and we also need that little peach pie gives out the duck's beak. Now we need another one of the little guys in peach pie. Okay. So I'm just gonna off camera, I'm gonna put my dies back onto my sheet over here on the sticky parts. And we're gonna run this one through. Let me just clean this part up and see how this worked out. Oh yeah, there's my greeting. We need another one. So this die, you know how I like to share with you that I do two at a time sometimes? This die here will allow you to do two at a time, but I just forgot to put the peach pie underneath it. So let me just quickly, give me a couple seconds, I'll, write, I'll run that through. Okay, there we go. So we're coming back now with those two dies. And, whoops. <laughs> okay, so let's get this one out. And so you could do this at the same time. Okay, so do your two peach, you do your peach and your gray at the same time. You also get the little wing, if you want the little wing. So I should have, yes, I have one in gray and one in peach pie. I'm not gonna use them. I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. Put my die back first. Okay, so we're going to take, can you guys see this? I hope you. I hope I'm close enough. I'm just gonna take my liquid glue and we're going to put this together. So fun. Um, 
Hmm. I think let's grab this one, add a little bit of glue to the background. And we're going to add a little bit of glue to this mama duck's beak and also on her back here. Sometimes it's easier to add the glue to the background part. And then we're going to lift up and put the, put her wing there. We're going to lift up and grab her beak. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, this one here, we're going to lift it up and we're going to pop that up here on this little duck. That little duck like that. Now... Okay, so this is what I meant to do. I meant to do two of these in peach and two in um, the gray because it kind of looks funny with a duck with a gray beak. <laughs> uh, I think they need peach pie beaks. What do you think? <laughs> so that one, I mean, you could. He could be the, the runt, right? He could be gray, <laughs> have a gray beak, but I really like this one. So that means I need another one another combo. And these, you could even pop that in if you wanted to do a little bit of paper piecing. But I really like the the duck underneath because, now I can't get that out. Um, the duck underneath has the lines on the wing. So we're going to do that one more time. I'm going to do it off screen. Let's grab that die again. So it's this double guy. So essentially what you want to do is two, if you want two ducks, we could also just leave it with one. You know what? That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to, I, the mom can have one duck. She's spending quality time with her one child. Okay. We're going to do that instead of me running it through again. <laughs> again. All right, let's move on here. Okay. So we're going to add some glue to our banner. Maybe it's not enough copy today. All right. We'll move this up here. We'll bring back our card. We're going to go ahead and put our banner across here like so, like that. All right, so far so good. All right, so now we'll leave the little ducks there. They can chill out for a minute. I'm gonna grab my scrap white and my two inch circle punch. We're gonna put these ducks on a focal point of a two inch circle punch. So you're gonna get this, the circle punch, you're gonna get the cut out, I'll, I'll die, cut, die cut those banners for you when I send you your kits. Um, you get your two inch circle. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring in granny apple green ink and peach pie. And we're gonna open these up. And I'll share with you from the stamp set what we're gonna do. We're gonna use, um, from the Charming Duck stamp set, we've got the greenery and we've got the cattails, bulrushes, whatever you wanna call them. We're gonna use those. So let's grab the greenery and we're gonna grab those little cattails. I like that word, cattails. Okay, let's put these on a block. Let's see, will that one fit? Yes. And we'll need a smaller block for those. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of background stamping behind on this circle. So let's start off with the granny apple green and we'll do a little, we'll go off the edge a little bit like that. And you can see the gaps here in the stamp where the blooms or whatever those are called go. Okay, so let's take this stamp and the beauty of photopolymer you can hover over and I'm just lining up the gaps. These little things are going to go into the gaps like that. Look at that. How easy did that come together, right? All right, so then I thought, okay, no naked white edges. We, where I'm going to bring in a sponge. We're just going to add a little bit of that granny apple green color to the edge of this circle this circle punch. Love, love, love my punches. Anybody do a shout out to punches? They, they make your life so easy. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put this on our card right here like that. And I mean, if you didn't want to do ducks, you could just leave it like that. But I just love the ducks, so I had to put them on. So for the circle, I'm going to flip it over. We're going to grab some dimensionals and we're going to add three just so it stays up popped up nicely. Three dimensionals and we'll peel that off and we'll put that right here like that. And now we're going to bring in these little duckies and we're going to put them in place. So on my original card uh, that I made for GDP this week, I had two babies. This one 
because I didn't have enough pieces cut and I don't want you to have to watch me again. I'm just going to have one ducky, the mama ducky right there. And then we're going to put the baby ducky down here with her. And that's totally fine, right? She can have one baby. Okay, so there we go. There's the front. Now the inside, I thought, let's keep it simple. Let's do the exact same sprig, right? The, the greenery, because it's, it's kind of the focal point of the front here. So we're going to put this one down here and then come in again with the peach pie and do the exact same image. Now let's bring in the stamp set again. You make me happy on the front. You could say, hello, friend. You could say, have a lovely day. Happy birthday. There's lots you could put on the inside. I'm going to leave mine blank right now. So then I can decide later what this card is going to be sent for. All right. Let's go ahead and add our liquid glue to the edges and we'll pop this inside. And then of course we need to grab something to make this card extra special. And we're gonna bring in the, in the suite, you're gonna to wanna to get the entire suite guys because you're gonna want these amazing new dots. I love them. They're called adhesive back dapple dots. So for my card, I'm gonna use any of the colors would work probably uh, well, we're going to use peach pie. We're going to use the peach pie. So three of those. I'm going to grab a big one. And we'll put that. Let's put that up here in the corner right on top of the pretty peacock. And then I'm going to grab two smaller ones. Put one there. And how about another one down here? There we go. So there we have it. Such a beautiful little suite. I am so excited about this one. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you, guys. I'm happy you like this card. Now, so there's there's my card with one ducky, one little duckling. And here's my card that I was talking about that I did with the two ducklings. So either way, I mean, you could add more ducklings. Put some down here in the water, right? Go to town with those dyes. They are amazing. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, Joy. All right. Let me flip you back. <laughs> So happy Victoria Day to you all. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, I'm excited to get going on this week. I love this suite. And don't forget, guys, get your wish list ready because tonight at midnight starts the 24-hour free shipping sale. So if you're a demonstrator, you know you get to double dip. You'll get your demo discount and you're going to get free shipping. If you're not a demonstrator, hurry on and sign up today. Get your demo ID. Uh, usually that comes to you right away and you, we can get you set up right away. So tomorrow you can place an order under your own self and get your demo discount and the free shipping. Who doesn't love a double deal, right? All right. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock mountain time for my second card using the lily pond uh, lane, lily pond lane. Yes, lily pond lane. And if you want the item code for the suite, I'll read it out to you one more time. It is 163354. Grab that one. Okay, take care, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.